So I just pre-ordered the float wheel ADV Pro recently using crypto and I'm super stoked about the board and its features even though I was a bit nervous about paying in crypto because once the money leaves your account there's no mediators that would return your money if the seller fails to deliver like PayPal or Venmo. So I want to talk about the features on the float wheel ADV Pro that made me take the plunge and say you know what it's worth the risk because this is so good. This will be a three-part series where I talk about the ADV Pro features and specs, follow-up videos about the critical information summarized from their updates, and how to purchase an ADV Pro using Coinbase Commerce, and the common problems and questions that people had while trying to pay with them, to be reassured, because it's a scary process to send thousands of dollars in digital coins to another business overseas. Alright, let's get started. A quick message. I'm giving away one of my electric skateboards worth $500. If you never tried one before now, it's your chance to get it for free. All you have to do is to be a subscriber and comment on the video. Additional information on the giveaway is at the end of the video. There are so many things I am excited about the float wheel. This list is my top 10 things about the ADV Pro that made me take the risk and throw my money at them. Number 1. The double battery configuration enables more cells to be fitted on the board both in the front and in the back. You get more capacity and more range from this setup. As a bonus, because of the way these batteries are stacked, they have a lower center of gravity, which may improve stability of the float wheel. The Canon Core motor has a 53% larger stator volume than that of the GTs. This motor should have higher heat dissipation capabilities due to higher contact surface area with the axle. The air gap on the outside of the motor is also filled with a fluid that enables the motor to become a big heat sink. All of this should be able to adequately cool the motor during more demanding riding sessions and prevent shutoffs. The Canon Core motor also produces 6 horsepower, which is double that of the GTs. It should feel a lot more powerful and enable the rider to go to places that wasn't possible before on the GT. Unlike the GT's proprietary tires, the ADV owners can use any tires with an inner diameter of 6 inches. More choices is always a win for consumers. It's VESC or VESC powered, which means it's open source. You can open it, play around with it, adjust settings on it, and optimize it to your needs without worrying that your wheel might be bricked by the manufacturer. The adjustable aluminum rails might look really close to some of the aftermarket rails, but they look so well crafted even without any coatings on them yet. The rails can be adjusted higher for off-road or be lowered for stability and speed, all while giving the wheel a unique look. I will probably paint mine bright yellow after I get it to make it look more unique like my previous one wheel. Rest in peace, Bumblebee. Float wheel integrated and updated foot pads to prevent ghosting through the implementation of larger gel dots that separates the sensor layer from the contact layer on the foot pad and through additional gel separators lined around the outside edge of the sensor pads, which the GT doesn't have. The compartments are watertight, and as a second layer of protection, all the ESCs and electronic components are coated with hydrophobic materials, so you can shred even in a hurricane, I guess. All parts are available to purchase separately if you need replacements. Nothing is going to get bricked if you unplug something by mistake. Also, there's no need to spend $600 on a simple BMS repair by sending Boyd back, because you can always do it yourself. Lastly, the battery pack delivers 84 volts from a 20S battery configuration. That's a lot of voltage going to that motor. For reference, GT uses 75.6 volts on an 18S battery configuration. On paper, the float wheel team seemed to address nearly all of the GTs and FM's problems that most riders hate. Is float wheel the Robin Hood that we have all been waiting for, or are they a patent infringing copycat? Find out on the next Dragon Ball Z. No, I'm just kidding. Um, subscribe for future content on the one wheel and float wheels. I'll be making videos on the estimated release date of the ADV Pro and also make tutorials how to use Coinbase Commerce and the best ways to buy the ADV Pro. Lastly, I'm giving out one of my electric skateboards. All you have to do is to be a subscriber and make a comment. Winner will be randomly chosen at the end of April 2023. The skateboard is a Uditor W3, a pretty decent entry-level board with hot swappable batteries. I can only ship within the United States because of the cost. So thank you, uh, best luck to you, and see you on the next one.